Good morning. Waiting for the Barbarians is a novel by the South African writer J. M. Kudzi. So uh, let's dig in into colonialism in J. M. Kudzi's Waiting for the Barbarians. Colonialism refers to the practice and exploitation, control of colonized people and their lands. And post-colonialism is the academic study of colonialism and imperialism, focusing on the consequences. It is concerned with the economic, cultural, and psychological effects of imperialism and emancipation from colonial rule. J. M. Kutze's Waiting for the Barbarians provides a sophisticated investigation into the experience of the victimized characters who have been colonized or enslaved due to mass political violence, victims of slavery and colonization. The novel depicts colonialism as a human disaster that inflicted grave political, psychological, and economic harms on the colonized who are the victims of colonialism. The novel sets in an unspecified geographical place and it is narrated by an unnamed magistrate who establishes his identity in the novel as an intermediary figure in the unnamed colony between two opposing disputes, the colonizer, that is, the self, and the colonized, the other. Thus, post-colonial criticism brings out the hierarchical relations between the culture of the colonist, which is a dominant culture, and the culture of the indigenous people who are marginalized and treated as others. As Gayatri Spivak interrogates the politics of hegemonic culture in Gramsci. The novel starts with the arrival of Cornel Joel, who represents the aggressive colonizer and his soldiers from the Third Bureau to assert their dominance over the barbarians. The magistrate is aware of the injustice of colonization, but he is helpless. Though the magistrate doesn't like Cornell Joel's methods of interrogation of the prisoners, he has to obey him because of his sincerity to the empire. The acts committed in his jurisdiction in the name of the empire are acts that rob him of authority and which he wishes to distance himself from. Terror sweeps the settlement. Cornell Joel of the Third Bureau is seen as symbolizing every cruel and unfair aspect of colonial rule. This can be related to Homi Baba's relation to power. The colonizers use their power to victimize the other. The magistrate has no authority to stop the atrocities of Cornell Joel. As Joel interrogates and tortures barbarian prisoners, the magistrate becomes increasingly sympathetic towards the victims. The magistrate is struggling whether it is appropriate for him to take sides with the colonized or to stay loyal to the tyranny of the colonizer, particularly when Cornell Joel starts the horrors of victimizing the colonized in front of the eyes of the magistrate. Thus, the magistrate is self-conscious of the double thought that is caught between conflicts and leaves him fragmented. This confused attitude, this hybrid position or thinking is what Homi Baba calls the third space or in-betweenness. 
In one incident, Colonel Joel and his men torture a young Bavarian woman in front of her father, break both of her ankles, and make her blind. The healing treatment that the magistrate gives to the Bavarian blind woman through massaging indicates the magistrate's feelings of guilt and objection of Cornell's policy. He expresses a psychological state that his belonging to her is a rejection of the dictates of imperialism and a wish to free all the colonized territories. When the colonel leaves the outpost, the magistrate takes the Bavarian woman and restores her to her people, a gesture to project an identity for himself and also a resistance. The army arrives, finds the magistrate guilty of treasonously consorting with the enemy, and subsequently tortured. The magistrate is turned into a colonized object as the other. The idea of the other is done out of the belief of the colonizer that he is the enemy within. The magistrate's development identity can be seen when he says, I must assert my distance from Cornell Joel. I will not suffer for his crimes. In the end, he confronts with Colonel Joel and expresses his opinion, saying, You are the enemy. You have made the war. And the sentence goes on. Colonel Joel's process of getting the truth is a historical process of colonization. In another incident, he tortures a boy looking for the truth which is required to, to, to be truth by the empire. He uses violence to take out the truth, which is an act of torture, where the torturer attempts to make the tortured speak the truth. Under colonial conditions, some become the masters and some the servants. Some have the power and some are totally powerless. In the end, the third bureau sends troops to search and destroy the barbarian enemy. They are lured and finally lose the battle. Colonel Joel and his men retreat and finally the magistrate resumes his old authority. Waiting for the barbarians is thus about destruction of an imperial regime. Colonialism is about resistance and reversal of fortune, as seen in the novel. And the 